Okay, so there is a common um, a common saying I, I, I hear people say. They, I feel like they don't know what they're saying. So I want to kind of clear it up just a little bit. I hear people say mercy and grace in the same sentence as if it's the same thing. See, a lot of people say, I pray for mercy, I pray for grace. Uh, uh, and then I'm listening and I'm like, do you know what you're praying for? I hear people say, man, I, I thank God for his grace. I thank God for his mercy. But do you understand? And I'm not saying nothing to anybody. I, all I'm doing is I want to be a, I want to give you a clear understanding of the difference and hopefully bring it to you in a way that you're like, okay, I get it now. Now I can see what it is that I'm looking at. Now I can see what it is I'm praying for. Now I can truly see what it is that God has given me and is continually given me. And we're going to start with mercy. See, people say, they thank God for the mercy. Uh, they they thank God for His mercy and His grace. But I want I want to I want to I want to show the difference of what they are. Mercy. This is something that we tend to not see until after the fact. Now, one thing that we we do see is that mercy is the thing that saves us. Now we're saved through grace, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. See what mercy does is it keeps us. Mercy is like a boundary. That's around us. Check this out. We deserve death. Okay? We deserve death. But because God's mercy, since we're supposed to be on the cross, we're supposed to get that eternal death, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And now it's that mercy seat that He sits on. Now it's, it's Jesus Christ was the mercy of God in our lives. God had mercy on Think of it in a courtroom. You are at the mercy of the judge, mercy of the juror, mercy of the people. You're at the mercy of the court because you want a lighter sentence of what you of what, what you could get. See, that's what, that's what God did. God's mercy kept us. See, because we're, we're supposed to die eternally, God's like, I'm going to give you mercy. I'm going to give you my son, Jesus Christ. That's mercy. Think of it this way. I should have OD'd. Mercy. He kept me from ODN. I should have died in that car wreck. Mercy. He made sure you didn't die. Or look at it this way. I'm, I'm stuck at a, at a stoplight and I'm, I'm, I'm mad because I was supposed to be through that stoplight. I, I, need to, I need to get across town. I'm in a hurry. But yet, as you're at the stoplight, the guy in front of you is the one that, who, who made you not be through the stoplight. But yet, there's a crash at the stoplight. And, if it, and if, it, if it was for you being in a hurry, you would have been in that crash. Guess what? That was his mercy. His mercy keeps you from that. It's a boundary he puts around you. It is his mercy that keeps you. And usually that's something that we see later on. When I was in prison, I was like, man, God, I seen your divine hand protecting me. That's mercy. Man, God, I should have died when I was living in the streets. His mercy. Once again, that's his mercy that kept me. See, mercy is the thing that keeps you from what you should be getting. I should have died a long time ago. His mercy, man. His mercy. Now, grace. What is grace? The Bible says that we're saved uh, uh, by, fa uh, by grace through, uh, through faith, right? And I explained it one time like this. Think of a man on fire. Think of... Uh, you got the water hose and the guy on fire needs water, right? And faith is the water is the water hose, but what comes through faith is the grace that's gonna, is gonna extinguish the person. The Bible says let's walk it out, walk out our salvation. Right? We have to walk out our salvation. We have to work out our salvation. Not works, because we don't we don't we're not justified by works. We're justified in faith uh, through Jesus Christ. But see, the only way to continue in this walk, we already got mercy, which is Jesus. So we believe in that mercy, but now we receive the grace as we're as we are walking in the mercy of God, we receive the grace that gives us the strength to walk it out. See, grace is the um Okay, you gotta go mudding. You can't go mudding in this thick mud in a, in, a, in a little Toyota, right? A little Honda, right? You ain't, you ain't making it through. You cannot make it through in that car. But if you get a pickup truck, 4x4, four four, that can go right through it, that 4x4 four four is your grace. And it gives you the strength. It gives you the ability to get through what it is I had to get through. 
Paul says it like this. In my weakness, you are made strong. Your grace is sufficient for me. If his grace is sufficient for me in my weakness, that means that's what I need in my weakness. The Bible says I will mount you up as wings as eagles. So even when I'm falling, even when I'm faint, even when it is I feel like falling apart, I need something that helps me get through what it is I need to get through. It's his grace. Grace is strength. It's undeserved favor. Grace is the thing that helps me get through what it is I'm going through. Because if we didn't have grace in this life, Oh man, I don't even know where we'd be. The Holy Spirit extends grace to us, right? The Bible says that he is on the throne room of grace. And it's through that throne room that we receive that grace as we go to God. And the Holy Spirit is what brings it back and forth. So, mercy is what keeps you. Mercy is what keeps that protection over you. When you should have OD'd, you should have went to prison, you should have got pulled over, you should have uh, you should have died, you should have got shot, you should have got all these things. As we look back, man, that was the mercy of God that kept me. And it's his mercy and his goodness that drives me to him because I realize, man, God, you kept me. Man, God, your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Now, as I'm, now I've, 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 I've accepted Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going through trials. I feel weak. In my weakness, you're strong. How is you strong? Because your grace is sufficient. What do I need your grace for to get through what I'm going through? Paul says, I got a thorn in my side. That it's something that's irritating. Something that I'm going through. God, take it away from me. And God said, no, but I'm going to give you the grace to get through it. He gave him the grace to get through what it is he's going through. That's what grace does. Grace strengthens you. Grace is your coach. Grace is the same thing saying, come on, you got this. Keep going. Press some more. Press some more. You got it. You got it. Keep going. That's what grace does. It gives you that that courage. It gives you that confidence. It gives you that I can do this. But you can't do it alone. You got to have the spirit, man. You got to have the grace of God to get through whatever it is you're going through. So I hope, man, there's so much more. We could talk about mercy and grace. But I hope... I, I've touched a little bit that gives you a different view of the mercy of God in your life and the grace of God in your life. If you're going through something, I pray grace over you. Look back and praise God. If you if you don't if you don't sit there and praise God, it's cool. I'm not I'm not saying you, you should or shouldn't. But look at look back at where he's kept you from. Look at the things that could have happened to you. That was his mercy. And if you look at look back and say, man, how did I get through that? It was his grace. His grace was helping you get through it. Because that's the strength that he gives you to get through what it is you're going through. Father God, Lord, we just thank you right now. God, we love you. Man, we love you so much. And I thank you for your mercy of your son, Jesus Christ, that died in my place. Father, I thank you for allowing me to receive that life that I don't deserve. Father, I thank you for the grace that get, helps me get through this lifetime. Until I'm in your arms in heaven, Father. I thank you for allowing us to receive the grace that gets through our struggles, Father. That we know that the grace you give us is sufficient for whatever it is we're going through. Because you know exactly because you're that sovereign. God, I thank you for everything you've done. And I I speak grace over my brothers and my sisters. I pray that you will give them what they need to get through what they're going through. And you will impact their lives with the revelation of your, your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.